Welcome to I Love Stocks. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. Today we're going to talk about f -Cell. I think we're in the middle of a breakout here. We have had a breakout on f -Cell and we had a little pullback. f -Cell, f -Cell Energy, together with its subsidiaries, designs, manufactures, sells, and installs, operates, as services, stationary, fuel cell, power plants for distributed power generation. The company offers resources, products, line based in uh, carbon fuel cell technology to various figurations, including on-site power, utility grid support, distributed hydrogen and a microgrid, as well as multi-megawatt applications. Now, I'm pretty excited because we're going to have to have a grid to power all these EV cars. So this is like a, like a, um, a definitely an EV play for me, and I'm going to be watching this real close. Because they're going to have hydrogen cars too eventually, and that's going to be a big deal. So let's go right into the stock and look at how it's doing today. And I should already have this chart up. We'll see what we got here. We're not going to use that one. We're going to use that one. There we go. We'll go ahead and type in F cell here. Hook it up to the 30, 20 day. That's what I'm going to go on right here, the 20 day. Actually, let's look at the yearly first. And I'm going to draw a few support lines. Yearly, daily. We have a solid support right down here at the 731 area. And another one right here at 767. And then 80. Oh, I'm thinking, well, let me magnify this up a little bit here. I'm using the bodies of the candles. And I think that 798 would be good enough. And we'll put another one right here. Another one right here. And we'll just keep doing up on the way up to find resistance levels that we want to break. And these are all going to be like solid resistances on the daily. So I take them in, in pretty wood configuration here. We'll go ahead and move it up one more time. This is f -cell. I'm drawing it out for you. Every, every video is a lesson. If you want to learn my extended trend line method, and we'll go ahead and pull this to the 20 day. Where's my 20 day on here? There it is. Kind of hard to find. Yeah, see how they kind of just kind of come right in there? Looking pretty good. So we got a pivot point in this breakout channel right here at 853. And right now we're at 840, I think. Let me go ahead and turn this into a red line. This is like a pivot point. This is where we need pivot point in the channel. That's where it's either going to decide if it wants to break up or break down. So we call that a hard resistance at 853. Let's look at the tape and see how it's running right now. We're at 840, so we're getting up around that area. We do have higher lows, and we do have an ascending triangle breakout that we had down here at 7, oh, I don't know, kind of like a head and shoulders in a way, but the momentum with higher lows can keep this thing going up. So the resistance that we got to break is going to be this 853, and I think the next one is going to be this top right in here where we had this high. And actually, I want to kind of fine tune that a little bit. No, it's pretty good. I'm going to erase this line. I'm just going to fine tune it. There you go. Right there at 886. And then this last one where the spinning top is, that's where we want to go ahead and try to break that 970. But right below it, this 938. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that into a red line. That's the resistance we want to get to to break. That's going to be the hard resistance. And we'll take a bigger look at it here now. Let's put it back here on the 20 day or on the 10 5 day 5 minute. Yeah, there we go. Right in the middle of that pivot point of that channel right in there that we had on that day. It's what's showing to me. So the resistance we got to break is going to be this 853 solid support your first one's going to be right here right around the 822 area that needs to hold right there 822 and then you got three more four more actually with a strong buy down at 831. so you got the 822 798 and 
767 for solid supports with a strong buy at 731. Resistance to break here at 853. We're going to probably get to about 938, 937 today, I'm hoping. And if we can do that, we'll bust up to these newer highs. But I think we're in the middle, as I show you on the 20 day one more time. We've had higher lows. We're about ready to hit that pivot point and that next resistance long. And if we can break past 1017 long, this would be a swing trade and a scalp for me and a day trade. I'll be day trading it and swing trading it. I'll buy a small position if, on a pullback and I'll scalp it on the way up. This is FCEL. Let's take another look at the website here. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates. I'm on this trade. Hit that Twitter bird. Follow us on there. Miss Vegas is always posting alerts in here. And we just sure love stocks.